psychological fascism, the manipulation of fear and guilt to control. One of the great ways this works is we attract to us what we most fear, because fear is not only a great controller, the great controller of the human race, it's also the great limiter of human evolution. So you see, they may not predetermine what you think, but what they do is they can prefigure what we think about. We talk about those things, maybe not exactly the way they may want us, but they seem to set the agenda for what we believe is important. In a society that believes in nothing, fear becomes the only agenda. You have to do it through the mind, either through fear or through conditioning people to think the way you want them to think. And a society that believes in nothing is particularly frightened by people who believe in anything. And therefore, we label those people as fundamentalists or fanatics. And they have much greater purchase in terms of the fear that they instill in society than they truly deserve. But that's a measure of how much we have uh, become isolated and atomized rather than of their inherent strength. But as a result of facing all of those fears, I don't fear any of them anymore. Because fear is our creation, it's a choice. We choose to 